Hello ID 122 students. I'm back to remind you that we are nearing the end of the fall term. We are entering module 14 this week which will run through December 2nd. Uh, please note that there's only a few weeks left in the class. Uh, the final exam will be given on and be due December, Friday, December 17th. So please note that on your calendars. We're going to continue with the federal style and the neoclassical style this week. Federal style has many of the same elements as the Georgian style we learned before. There's a lot of symmetry, uh, balance, uh, classical details, gable roofs, but it's different in ornamentation and sophistication. Federal details are more delicate, slender, and finely drawn uh, than the Georgian counterparts and may feature swags, garlands, and urns. Bold patriotic symbols can be found too, like uh, eagles, a share, uh, chair back shaped like shields, trophy-like urns, and other celebrations of military victory. So please keep this in mind when you're going over the federal style this week. Please continue on through Module 14 and the American Federal Style Characteristics, Thomas Jefferson's home, uh, the influence of uh, arch Italian architect, historic Italian architect Palladio, the furniture. There's going to be a discussion board assignment where you'll discuss interior designers and different industry career requirements uh, to get you thinking about those. And also, it's a chance to be creative. We're going to have a short assignment where you make your own frame and then put a picture up to share with the class. The following week, we're going to move into uh, different historic designs, uh, particularly uh, chairs and sofas, rugs, decorative weaving, even lighting we're going to look at. There's a discussion board um, opportunity where you'll introduce different decorative objects of your choice. There will be an extra credit opportunity and also in week 16, which will be the final exam week, please take the final exam by Friday, December 15th, midnight. It's also a chance for you to survey the course and earn some points and give us some input. So congratulations, you're getting near the end of the course. I hope that uh, you will enjoy these last few weeks and you'll be able to manage these assignments. I want you to be sure to check the Grade Center that you are up to date with all the assignments so you finish the course strong with a lot of points. So I hope you enjoy going through the Federal Style this week and learning about the neoclassical elements used in American decorating. I'm going to show a short video to show you some high style federal architecture and interior design. Inspired, right? The, the pilasters and how thin those little, little flutes are, the brackets that support the mantel shelf. You'll see those elements over and over again, over doorways, and this bracketing of this carving in here is, is, is all part of that style. Other thing, that nature is a little bit outside of my wheelhouse, but Mr. DuPont was a genius in design, right? He was hired by the White House. Jacqueline Kennedy hired him to help redo with the White House. Look at the, some of the things she's done here in this window treatment, right? At the same time, you're going to see chairs that pick up that same kind of drop pendant detail. It is a wonderful, subtle little detail that, that pulls the room together. So you'll see it on pieces of furniture. He was, uh, the colors in the drapes are oftentimes inspired by the colors on the outside of the home, as you can see it beautifully on this side. So subtle things you'll pick up and subtle things you'll see here that just are magical. 
I hope you all enjoy covering the federal style this week and uh, I look forward to working with you and wishing you a strong finish to the course. All the best.